Hi guys, I'm back. So I wanted to share with Happy Monday and welcome to a new weekly vlog. As you know, my name is Kinshasha, aka Sweet Shash. If you're new here, thanks for joining us. And if you are, if you've been here, welcome back and thanks for continuing to support this growing channel. So, what's going on with you guys? How was your weekend? Did you get to check out the vlog that I posted about the summer this hot girl summer salad or about the coffee and lemon? If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave it down in the comment section. I promise I will get back to all of your questions with some type of answer. So, so far so good. I am down two pounds. So, I don't know which is working or what is working, if it's a combination of everything, but I have been um, consistent with the summer girl salad. I drink that the, the hot coffee and lemon juice every morning before eating or drinking anything and I have implemented more protein in my diet, which I'm doing my protein shades. I'm beefing up on more chicken, lean beef, and fish. So that's what I'm doing. It seems to be working. It's only two pounds. Two pounds could have been two pounds of anything, waste, water, whatever. I'll take it. So I'm doing that. I'm going to continue to, to kind of do that to see what works. If you guys want me to do a, d a demonstration for you on the lemon tea, um, the I'm sorry, I keep saying lemon tea, the hot coffee in lemon and show you what brand I'm using, I'll do that for you guys this week. Um, I'm trying to like minimize a little bit of the summer girls hot girl salad I'm not putting as many bell peppers in it I'm just gonna keep it to about two and that's probably my two favorites which is the red and the green and that's the only thing that I'm gonna change in that everything else I'm still gonna remain the same um, just to cut down some prep time on it because when I first made it I made a huge like um, bucket not bucket <laughs> bold and about you know I had tried to make it for a couple of days and towards I uh, maybe say the second day the um the vegetables wasn't as dense and crunchy as I like so I'm gonna uh, minimize minimize the peppers and just try to maybe cook enough or make enough just for the day so I had some so far today for lunch tonight I'm going to um I've done the the um the cauliflower rice from Trader Joe's in the frozen section you guys should check it out um, but tonight I'm gonna do one that's different which is the Mexican fried rice uh, fried cauliflower rice I'm gonna try that out maybe with some um, baked chicken or some rotisserie chicken that's gonna be for dinner I will let you guys know about that rice I've had the other one this one is new I've never tried it before so um, I'm hoping that it's good because if it's a hit you know I'll always you know keep it in my my weekly shopping on my weekly shopping list for Trader Joe's um Amazon did send me my cups back um because remember I opened last week if you have a chance to view the videos from last week and if you didn't make sure you guys at the end of this you go over and check it out also check out the current vlogs which is the weekend vlog and the new pixie wig pixie curly wig that I um I did for you guys it took some work getting it to where, what it looks like, but it was a challenge and I enjoyed doing it. So, Amazon, per usual, right on time, they sent me um, just a whole new set. And here they are, and this time I have all four of my tops. Once again, I'll show you the glass. Here they are. And these are the tops here and and of course the straws the straws come in two different shapes so they have the the curve straw it's super wise big so they have that one that's an option especially if you're drinking something really thick or 
um, heavy, that curved one will probably be a better option. Um, this is just a regular size straw. Not too big, it doesn't have the curve, it's just a straight, straight one. So if you have an interest in these, like I said, I will leave the description in the, I will leave the link in the description box for you so you'll have access to that. So I haven't really discussed it um, with you guys on this platform about my Amazon influence um, approval. So I am now, I have became a Amazon influencer. So that means I am working on a storefront from Amazon. Um, whatever I sell, whatever is connected to my my account, there is a small commission that I get off of that, which you know Amazon gets the biggest commission, but there is a small commission. And I think it's really great because I have a lot of people that ask me, well, where do you get that from? Where do you buy that? What's the link? Could you send it to me? Send it to me. So once the, the storefront is all set up, I'm just trying to customize it now. It's taking me a little bit more time than I expected because I would like to have all my things in there and all the things that's on my wish list in there once I actually launch it, um, open it up to you guys. But there will be a permanent link here in the description box, also a link all on my other social media platforms and how I be, how I got a pull for an Amazon influencer. It's not based on this platform because this platform is still new, it's growing. Um, I do have a desired number of followers to have by the end of the year. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Let's just see what happens. But because of my content and my followers that's and it's continue to grow on Instagram, that's how I was approved. So I'm telling you guys, if you're working towards something, something you want to do, step out. You just never know. You know, people have this misconception that you can't be a influencer or you can't get monetized because you have such a, a a small growing that is not true there are called nano and micro influencers that can be monetized and you can do collaborations and you can make money you can make big money low money I mean it's something out there for everybody so as I was leaving on that last um, vlog that I posted just to and give you some encouraging words about if there's something in your life that you want to do just do it. I hate to sound preachy. I'm not preachy. I'm a super fun loving person. But I just feel that it's something in my heart that I should be pushing. And that is for greatness. I think we all should try to reach some goal that we have. I don't care what it is. Like I say, you're never too old to start something new. You're never too young to start something out or start something or start a new journey. You know, job, relationships, a move, a business. I mean, whatever it is, whatever your heart desire, just get out of your own way and try, 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 try. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt. You know, no one, everything doesn't happen overnight. Everything takes its time, but start your strategy, start game planning and just take little steps to move forward. Speaking of that, um, I'm kind of just rambling today. I'm just getting a few things off my on my chest and things that's been on my mind. Um, I know a few people have reached out to me and have asked me about my clothing business. My clothing business is still um, up and running. It is closetbarandco.com, closet with a K. It's still up, I still have things there. I'm still on it actively. I'm getting orders here and there, but I haven't put a lot of new things out as of lately. And that's only because I'm rebranding. Um, working on a few ideas, working with some new vendors, trying to push forward a new vision of mine um, and adding on some new things too, such as athletic wear and athleisure wear. So those things will be coming in the near new year. I am planning on doing a holiday launch for um, Black Friday and for the Christmas season because that's a good season. So I'm going to be doing that. It's not going to be too many items because like I said, I don't want to oversaturate it and then have to worry about getting out all of those products once I relaunch. So there's going to be a sale. I'm planning for Black Friday for all the other products, the older products that's up there to probably be 50 or 60% off minus a few items. Um, but majority of them will be on sale. So if you have not registered with our email, please go over there and sign up for the emails and you will get all that information once 
the cell drops or before the cell drops you know I always pregame it so you'll get those um, those details so Plaza Bar & Co is still standing and I'm still working on it but I'm still gonna work with other brands too because I have a platform to build I have you know dreams and goals and aspirations and I'm just not limiting myself to just working on my brand or working with my brand there's millions millions and millions of other brands out there and I want to do it all I want to learn from those brands I want to be able to to enjoy them and wear them and, and hope you guys fall in love with them as well so those are things that I'm working on and that's things that I'll be still working on this week so when I tell you that I've been busy and things I'm doing a lot of things behind the scenes I'm literally just putting things together every day you know it's just a little something i find out something new i feel like the the more you go into this the deeper it gets the more you learn it's just like an avenue that will never stop it's just up from here so i just want to share you share that with you guys so it's not that i'm neglecting this platform i love it here like i think this is my place i think you guys are my people and we just gonna go up you know join the family tell someone that knows someone like i always say to come over join subscribe check it out give my page a chance i'm really really trying over here i'm working hard and like i said i do have a number that i would like to get to by the end of the year but if i don't get there i'm still not going to be discouraged i'm going to keep moving and that's it because i love you guys and i hope you love me too so with that being said um, i'm going to um go finish editing this weekend vlog in the in the wig vlog that i did over the weekend get that up so you guys can see it i have a guest here with me today which is my grandson Gigi's baby if you don't know him i'll introduce you to him soon he wasn't feeling well today i picked him up this morning to take him to school and i just decided to keep him home with me so you know and he's doing well now he's been sleeping pretty much all day and he's just got up and asked for out of everything oatmeal out of everything he could have had in the house he wanted oatmeal so you know i made it happen for him so i'm gonna go on with my day i'm going to the gym today um the zuma class this guy i'm really not that happy with him he is not diverse enough for me he plays Spanish music I have nothing against Spanish music but I do prefer classes that kind of mix it up a little bit that plays Latino music you know um, hip-hop and R&B and you know what house music I'm, I mean I'm not no no genre of music is exempt but just to play one type of music it gets a little bored for me so the times that I've been there I've literally stayed 30 to 45 minutes because at this time I'm like still crazy I'm like I'm bored it, after a while all the music starts to sound the same the routines may be different but everything starts to sound the same so I'm not 100% happy with this class there is one other girl there that teaches Zumba I want to get a chance to check out her class I haven't yet but I'm gonna make it my business to do it this week because I'm on this journey to lose a few pounds and hopefully you guys will join me and you know in some of these things that I'm doing to see how it works out for you everything doesn't work for everyone but like I always tell you I'm just here to bring you the tea what you do with it is up to you and always always just check things out for yourself that is my disclaimer going forward if I tell you anything if I share anything with you just please please check it out for yourself and make sure that it's something for you like I told you that um, hot coffee and lemon it keeps me going so if you girls or guys out there that's having problems with going to the bathroom or um you're not using it on a constant basis try it give it a try see see if it helps you it's helped me and with that being said i'm going to wash these glasses put them away make me a protein shake for um for well a pre-day snack because i did have my lunch today with the the summer salad but i'm gonna make me a pre pre-day um, smoothie and go on with my day and I'll be back with you guys tonight to talk to you about the
hi guys i'm back so i wanted to share with you what i'm having for dinner tonight i did make the trader joe's um mexican style cauliflower rice is spicy so this is my dinner so i have the cauliflower rice i have some chicken breast some pineapple slices or chunks and two of the hot peppers that I use in my summer girl salad and of course water not wine and I'm gonna try this spicy fried cauliflower Mexican style cauliflower rice on camera with you I've tried the other ones the other cauliflower rice but I've shit I'm trying to get my seat down a little bit I've never tried this one so I'm gonna experience it for the first time on camera with you so here we go It's good. I swear to God. Trader Joe's never miss. They don't miss. This is good. It's flavorful. Um, it's it's a bit on the spicy side, so let me just tell you, I don't even need my hot peppers. Um, it has like a little little heat to it. It's really, really good. I taste the I taste more of the bell peppers and the onions and things like that more than even the cauliflower. It was really, really good. I wish I would have gotten more than one bag. I only wanted to get one just in case it was an epic fail. I did add a little bit of crushed red peppers, black pepper, and the mushroom season that I love from Trader Joe's that I've shown you guys in a few vlogs. So I'm gonna eat my dinner, enjoy it, and I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? Alrighty, have a good night. Hey y'all, hey, and welcome to a new day of the vlog. Today is Wednesday, I'm up and dressed, I'm about to run out. But as I was getting dressed, I thought about a DIY, a life hack um, that I would love to share with you guys that helps me tremendously. And as I was getting dressed, I was like, you know what? This would be something very use useful for my subbies. So I'm getting, gonna finish getting dressed now. I'm gonna head out to Michael's. I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I'm hoping that they have what I'm looking for. And then um, I'll be back to show you this little helpful tip i hope it helps you because it, it helps me save time and save money and you know it's all about that saving that coin so follow me to michael's and we'll get started Nobody let me play with you when I'm with you Go against the 
in the nigga like fuck this glitter Spit off the third on my pizza I put it in for you, I stand for you Whatever you with, I'm hit it How you gon' cost a nigga that rockin' with you? I got you lit in the city I been multitasking, rappin' and bein' a daddy to my little chill I been spendin' on business, I spendin' and spendin' and spendin' and spendin' and spendin' and spendin' and I do all the smack Hey, so I'm back I just wanted to quickly show you a brief life hack A, a DYI that I use all the time that has saved me time and money um you know i'm a curvy girl so if there's certain looks or certain jeans you want to wear like if i don't wear jeans that has stretch in it i normally go up a size to give it that relaxed fit or the boyfriend fit but sometimes it fits in every place but the gap the gap way so i'm talking about this this here this here is awful it messes everything up so I have a little hack that I use. I do it in pretty much all of my jeans. I thought about this today because I was getting dressed and I was going to put these on. And I haven't worn them in a while so I haven't updated them like I've done um, several other jeans and pants of mine. So I'm going to give you a walkthrough about how to fix this without having to take it to a, a tailor or take it to the dry cleaner to pay whatever it is to fix it because i do notice when i go to the cleaners they fit it they fit the waist perfect but it's still a, a like a fight to get it up the hips because the, now the waist is super small and my hips are super wide so there's a way to save money to to be able to get your jeans on comfortably and still have that gap fit close hope briefly i'm gonna demonstrate for you Okay, so I'm back. So literally, this is all I use. Um, these are the ones that I'm going to put in the jean. And trust me, this little fabric does a lot. You can go to Michael's or you can order it from Amazon or anywhere. And you can buy this elastic here. And I only bought white today because they were out of the black and the wider um, size. So it just depends on your preference. And we can all suffer from this, whether you're skinny, you're thick, you you know whatever girls can especially black girls with any kind of little curb can suffer from that and um they made this in black and white and they make it in all sizes so you can get something very slim you can get something wide i have like some as slim as like a, a shoestring i've used that in the summer in um a few of my maxi dresses and i will show you guys that on another day you can also pick up buttons to to close it to close the deal once i show you how i do it you'll understand everything that i'm saying so let me just grab my jeans these are the jeans that i just took off and these are the buttons that i i already did these these see these this button here and this button here you're going to use that to close it in and there's a hole so i cut a little slit right here where I'm gonna take this little string and I'm looking for my safety pin damn it why I always lose stuff okay here it go so I literally take this safety pin and I put it on this and then I take it Pay attention it's not hard take it and I am slipping I'm feeding it through the hole for so from one end to the next and you just kind of feed it around I feed it through the jeans And I'm going to take this end so it won't slide all the way through. See how I'm going to take that, this hole right here that I've made in it. And I'm going to clip it right here so it don't slide through. So this is going to hold one end of it. And I'm still working on getting the jeans to the other end.
like literally this takes five minutes it may take you a couple of minutes longer just to to sew your little buttons on it I'll demonstrate on the other pants what I'm talking about about the buttons and so so here we go so we got the elastic to the other end of the jeans and I have a hole here as well and I'm gonna take it and just put that slit over that button remove my safety pin and I'll show you how the jeans look Get so I'm back so literally this is all I use um these are the ones that I'm going to put in the jean. And trust me, this little fabric does a lot. You can go to Michael's or you can order it from Amazon or anywhere. And you can buy this elastic here. And I only bought white today because they were out of the black and the wider um, size. So it just depends on your preference. And we can all suffer from this, whether you're skinny, you're thick, you, you know, whatever. Girls can, especially black girls with any kind of little curb, can suffer from that. And um, they made this in black and white. And they make it in all sizes. So you can get something very slim. You can get something wide. I have, like, some as slim as, like, a, a shoestring. I've used that in the summer in um, a few of my maxi dresses. And I will show you guys that on another day. You can also pick up buttons to to close it to close the deal once i show you how i do it you'll understand everything that i'm saying so let me just grab my jeans these are the jeans that i just took off and these are the buttons that i i already did these these see these this button here and this button here you're going to use that to close it in and there's a hole so i cut a little slit right here where I'm going to take this little string and I'm looking for my safety pin. Damn it, why I always lose stuff? Okay, here it goes. So I literally take this safety pin and I put it on this and then I take it Pay attention it's not hard take it and I am slipping I'm feeding it through the hole for so from one end to the next and you just kind of feed it around I feed it through the jeans And I'm gonna take this end so it won't slide all the way through see how I'm gonna take that this hole right here that I've made in it and I'm going to clip it right here so it don't slide through so this is gonna hold one end of it and I'm still working on getting the jeans to the other end Like literally this takes five minutes it may take you a couple of minutes longer just to to sew your little buttons on it I'll demonstrate on the other pants what I'm talking about about the buttons and so so here we go so we got the elastic to the other end of the jeans and I have a hole here as well and I'm gonna take it and just put that slit over that button remove my safety pin and I'll show you how the jeans look give me one second same jeans the gap is no longer there everything is hugging the curbs everything is holding in place everything is flat through here this is a game changer so you guys 
if you're looking a way to make those jeans fit just right on the back side do this it's a lifesaver money saver game changer okay i am going to do the other pants and just in case you didn't get the gist of it i think you did you simply take the pants you're gonna cut a little incision here cut a little hole you're gonna take the string before you do that where the hole is right behind the hole you're gonna take a safety um take a, a button and I'm not gonna do this tonight because I really prefer black in these um, pants versus white so um, I'm gonna wait until I get some black elastic and do it with the black versus white um, and white button so you're just gonna you're gonna sew your button here then you're gonna take your safe and you're gonna feed it through until you get to the other end and I usually I determine it by if it has a belt hoop I determine it by the belt hoop I'll do it right behind the first belt hoop on the pants so right behind here just feed it through clip it you're good to go if you have any questions or you need for me to demonstrate another pair for you guys just let me know down in the comment section and I'll gladly do that for you but once again this is the the outcome Remember what it looked like before. Let me Hi guys and welcome to a new day of the vlog. As you can see, I'm in my car. I'm out and about. I had to go and get some service work checked on my car. But while I was out, I wanted to take you guys along with me because today is a grand open of the Saks off Fifth here where I live where I live. It used to be the old Lord and Tellers. And as you know, if you're familiar with this area, the Lord and Tellers was huge. So I'm dying to see what the Saks off Fifth look like and what they have in store so we're gonna go in um and check it out you you guys are get the grand opening right along with me so stay tuned and i'll be right back okay Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and turn that notification bell on for future videos. Be good to yourself and always stay safe. Mwah.